on, get it right. <laughs> Jeez. Christ. But wow. Yeah. After uh, Frostbite 2018, Ori yeah. went Hollywood. Oh, dude. Jeez, there, what was it? On uh, day zero, or maybe it was Thursday night, I was walking down like the hall from like the ballroom towards the elevator, and everybody's like, Ori. I'm just like, guys, guys, please, no no <laughs> photos. I want official TO business. I'm. It's way too important. I'm, I just don't have time for this. Hey, I mean, <laughs> you're sitting next to the guy who was uh, apparently dubbed 1920s paperboy John Tron by the Twitch chat. Is it, was it really? Yeah, somebody in Twitch chat, they're like... I feel like that's a blessing, yeah. actually. Honestly, I like that. Because, I mean, I dressed up for the commentary occasion. So I got, you know... Dude, the, I loved seeing your dad. photos inside the, like, thumbnails. Yep. You're just like... <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect. Uh, I mean, hey, you got to rock the look. But uh, right exactly. now, we're going to be rocking this match between Daybreak and Rog here. Yep. Now, this was a match that almost didn't end up on stream, but... You know, 27 entrants out tonight definitely can put a few extra matches on stream yep. before we hit into quarters and kind of just start speed running through losers. Yep. But Rog recently making the switch to Mennonite from Diddy. Uh, yeah. Uh, for some reason, he wanted he, he just felt like a, he, a disconnect with Diddy. Yep. And he's always felt a lot more of a connection to Mennonite. Uh, what yeah. pro, his brawl main for yep. the longest time. Yeah. And he actually tried to play Meta Knight even when Meta Knight was like pre like ladder combos. Yep. But everybody's like, raw, you're wasting your time, just play Diddy. Yeah, I mean with the way this matchup is going right now, he's definitely gonna need to figure something out if he wants to keep Meta Knight as his main butt. Yep. I mean honestly you know, honestly it, speaking, it's a challenge if you wanna play a character that just doesn't connect with you because yeah, you're playing the top tier, but if you don't have fun with the top tier, you're not going to want to put in the time to develop it and make it as good as it can be. Definitely. Now, I don't, also, I think Rog is also trying to actually change up his tag. He's basically going for like a whole new identity, new year, new him, I guess. Yeah, good luck with uh, Gucci on the stream. Yeah, <laughs> Gucci never changes tags unless he knows it's actually 100% real. Yep. Anyway, um, Daybreak off to he, – he's still holding on to a commanding start, but like Rog is – Kind of bringing it back into this uh, a little bit more. He's there got. Go. He's actually not. Oh, great call by Daybreak there. Just burn the limit. Oh, but, oh, but that's it. Yeah. Nice. You know that was like, like I understand why Daybreak did that. Um, yeah. The limit up. He had to because Rog was going for a back here to get, uh, get the kill and yep. uh, the starting point of that up B when in limit has invincibility. So he yep. definitely used the invincibility frame. But you know. When he comes crash landing down to the ground, there's a whole lot of uh, lag after it, yep. like upon impact to the ground, and Rog was able to get that dimensional keep too. Yeah, uh, it's something you don't really see too often as a hard punish move. It's more yeah. of a I'm gonna just throw you off here. Yeah, but it's now we gotta see if Rog can actually kind of bring this back because he's down 100. percent That's yeah. not to be. That's not a good spot against Cloud, especially once Cloud has limit and he's constantly just forcing you off stage. Because Daybreak's doing a really good job of just holding down this neutral. Rock hasn't really been able to find those openings too much. Up being going to take the stock. But Daybreak just showing that even once you finally find that opening, Cloud's going to find a way to break it. Definitely. And I mean, Daybreak is one of the more seasoned players in this scene. And yep. you know he definitely has that Meta Knight practice. Yeah. Uh, we've had uh, plenty of Meta Knights come through our scene. One, one most notably, Technology. Yep. Former PR player. Uh, currently still trying to yeah. refine his way back into the game. And then, of course, Glacy, yeah. one of Michigan's strongest up-and-comers. Yeah. So, you know, Daybreak, this is the, the Meta Knight matchup. Definitely something he's very comfortable yeah. with. But, uh, Ray, you remember fighting technology? Good old days? Get and I remember him yeah. yelling at me for bracket rigging <laughs> the day that happened. <laughs> he yelled at me. He was like, dude, you bracket rigged this. I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? Oh my I did God. not rig this bracket for you. <laughs> I mean, that was, like, towards the end, too. You can't rig for that point of the bracket. There's no it way. I think it was, like, the round before quarterfinals, or it might have been quarterfinals. Is I that at least two rounds in? Yeah. Yeah, that's too far, in my opinion, to be able to rig. Exactly, especially since it's, like, the old Smash Field with 89 people. Like, yeah. hello? Come on. Anyway, going to Suzaku Castle Omega. I know this is actually one of Rock's favorite uh, Omegas because it has the walls. Mm -hmm. He loves walled Omegas. And look at that, he switched to Diddy. The Meta Knight wasn't working out, you know, go back to the tried and true to try and uh, take this game. Yeah, I mean, a big part of the problem that he was having was just dealing with these space out tools that Cloud has because Meta Knight really needs to be able to get in in order to be able to get something started. But with Cloud, he's got such a good defensive kit that it's really hard to just work past the wall that Cloud can throw out because a lot of his moves, you can just land, cancel them just throw them out in the air safely, and you're really stuck just trying to 
sit and shield and wait for an opening against him. Definitely. And you kind of tell uh, Rog is getting a little flush. He's shaking his head a little bit down in the player camp. And he's definitely like missing a few of his confirms off of up throw. Like you saw him go for an up throw uh, fair. And that's just, that, that was nowhere near uh, hitting the target. Yeah. And a really big challenge in this game is just keeping the mentality. Because once you start letting your mentality go in a game that's this strict on not making mistakes, it can be a big challenge to make that comeback at that point. Because once you've lost the faith in yourself, you're going to see more openings created by your actions. And that's going to be something your opponent can capitalize on. Definitely. And Daybreak is one of those players that you definitely do not want to lose the mental game and oh, the no. stock advantage against. Yeah. Because once Daybreak ha kind of has um, the momentum on his side, it is so hard to actually take the momentum from him. Yep. And especially when you're fighting against a limit cloud and you're you're just constantly getting hit with those percents, it is like your mental fortitude just keeps weakening. Oh, Ooh. that was so slick! He was trying to go for a shield poke with that, so that was a for a for the attempt. But you know, damn, if that had only been executed correctly. Yep. Oh, he was waiting for the spot dodge, but Daybreak not giving it to him and getting the grab himself there. All right, but nah, down, down tilt up smash, not going to get it. Didn't get the sweet spot of up smash, but going to hit it with that point. Rog, 104% down. Can he finally make this comeback and put himself on the board, or is he going to get sent down to losers 2-0? We'll have to find yep. out. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely something you can do against Cloud, because if you can get him off stage, he can be really easy to gimp or at least bait out unsafe options once he's off stage. So if he can get him off stage and force him into that situation, he should be able to start making a comeback. Yeah, I mean, see, there. That's why Rog loves his Waldo Megas. He just loves yeah. using monkey flip shenanigans, and you can kind of see with how Daybreak is actually kind of approaching the matchup. He knows he's got such an incredible lead, and Diddy is going to be forced to get this banana out to try and have an attempt at uh, getting some footing in the matchup. So uh, the moment you see like a banana pull from uh, Diddy, Rog is actually or Daybreak is actually kind of like going on a slight offensive, throwing out that nair to try and hit the banana. Yeah. And uh, actually just hit Rog while he's in the cooldown from Banana Toss. Yeah, but uh, speaking of cooldowns, he actually was able to beat out a limit oh there from Daybreak yeah, with that believe. monkey flip earlier. Ooh, that would have so been close. <laughs> that is oh, always get... scary, dropping your shield next to him like that. Oh my god, that... No, does he have a jump? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Oh my oh. god, so close. Oh god, the lanky Kong arms, though. Yep. Oh, trying to hit him with the Z-drop Banana. Yeah. Half to shoot shield. But yeah, both of these players, they are just neck in neck. Next hit, next solid hit is definitely going to get the win. Rog probably just needs a fair or a bear. Definitely an up smash going to send it. You see there the deal? It is. Gets the bear, gets the kill. Rog pops off a little bit, drops the headphones. Yeah. I mean, that was an. You could look at that. Look at that Daybreak face. He's like, yeah. ugh. Yeah, I mean, that was close because you saw Daybreak getting a little nervous there because, I mean, he had to make some narrow recoveries there at the edge. So he didn't want to get sent off again. So he was hoping that. He would be able to just work on Cloud's raw pressure that he naturally has to be able to just run past Rog to get back to center stage. But Rog threw out an attack there, and Daybreak just ran right into it. Mm -hmm. So let's see, game number three. We're heading over <coughs> to Battlefield. I like the choice from uh, Daybreak. You definitely know that Rog in his right mind banned most likely Town and City. Yep. Possibly Lilat, but I don't know what Rog stands on Lilat in this matchup is. Yeah. But uh, Daybreak able to get the triplats. I mean, it is a, still a pretty okay uh, stage for Diddy in this matchup. But, you know, for Daybreak's style of Cloud, the one that just applies constant pressure and is so focused around the jungle game, yep. this is an ideal counter pick. Yeah, but the big challenge is because Diddy Kong can live to higher percents, that means he's going to be able to get Daybreak up to higher percents and send him further and further off stage. So on a big stage like this, Rog will be able to capitalize on the edge guards a little bit more than Daybreak can. So it's going to come down to if Rog can get Daybreak off the stage before he gets those limits off. Definitely. Ooh, that, oh, no that's jump. A, no jump, but oh. oh just barely missing the punish there. Rog actually should not have uh, gone for the banana. The banana would have hit Cloud most likely on the way up or caused a stall if Cloud actually clanked with the banana. Yep. So Rog probably could have gotten like a monkey flip kick or maybe a back air off. But, you know, tw hindsight's 20-20. Yep. Yep, I like putting, like, he slipped that banana right towards the ledge to force either a jump get up or a roll so he wouldn't get tripped. But that down tilt into up smash going to take stock one. Rog with the momentum switch once he switches over to his tried and true in Diddy Kong. Yeah, definitely a very nice edge cancel there on the platform. Ooh, but Daybreak was ready oof. for it and uh, just let that into a stock. 
Yeah, that bear just, I'm surprised that really killed. That might have been some off DI there by uh, Rog, but we'll never know. Yeah. And right off the start, the moment he, uh, Daybreak just stuffs out that s aggressive approach from Rog, just throwing out that cross slash, getting a free 19%. Yep. And just like that, Rog, when he, when he had a lead, was is now in disadvantage. Yeah, and that's really the challenge because both of these characters essentially have a vortex. Once you get caught in it, you could be taking a lot of percent. But the main difference here between these two characters is one of them has a much more lethal kill setup. Definitely. And you could tell that uh, Daybreak got Rog right in the position he wanted. Get him in that juggle position. Try to force out an air dodge so you can get the uh, finishing touch uh, read on the air dodge. But yep. Daybreak just going to keep up that uh, pressure by just having the limit. Oh, oh no. no. I don't know what he was going for there. Like, I don't know what his end game was because I it clearly was just not, that wasn't the play. That was yeah. not the play.